Hello. In a previous video, I showed you how to configure BugBranch to clone a source code repository onto your iPhone. In this video, we're going to learn how to use BugBranch to follow issue tracking systems. To do this, we're first going to add an issue tracking source. To do that, we're going to go to Sources, hit plus to add a new source, and in this case, we're going to do a Redmine issue tracker. So I'm going to click Redmine under Issue Trackers. So I'm going to do the Ruby programming language who is using Redmine. Their instance is located at bugs.ruby-lang.org. I've already created an account on their Redmine instance, so I'm going to enter the username and password, click Done, and then Save. And it adds it as a new source. So the Ruby language is divided into many sub-projects. In this case, let's say I'm interested in the Ruby 1.8 subproject. I click that, and BugBranch will start downloading the issues for this particular subproject. There's hundreds of them here, so it downloads them all. And you can see all of the issues are listed here in chronological order. And I can see their statuses, when they were submitted, etc. So let's say I'm interested in this backport Ruby 1.9 singleton issue. I click that and we'll load the issue. I can see what the issue is, who reported it, who it's currently assigned to, when it was last modified, its status, what type of issue it is, and a description of the issue. And if I want to see the comments, I can click comments here. You can see there's nine comments and people are discussing this issue. Um, they were discussing it as of March 15th, 2013. And this guy says 1.8 is dead. And if I want to add my two cents on it, I can hit plus, type my own comment, my two cents, click done, and now I'll contact Redmine, and you can see my two cents has been added to discussion of this issue in the Ruby programming languages Redmine, and there we go. We are following a Redmine issue tracker using Bug, Bug Branch. Thanks.